pretty young myself. And I got a really young face, so everybody always thinks I'm even younger than I am. It's hard for me to get people to take me seriously, you know? It's like, I'm young, but I'm not that young. So I was thinking about this this morning while I was taking a bath in my sink, and I was like, <laughs> what can I do to make people think that I'm older, you know? Or at least think that I'm the age that I am. I tried to grow my hair out, and I grew a beard, and everybody just thought I was homeless, so that didn't work. So I was getting kind of stuck, and I decided to go to Starbucks, you know, kind of like get the gears moving. So I get there, I order a large black coffee, right, and the lady at the counter just stares at me. I'm like, is that too simple of an order for Starbucks? Can I go on my copy? She's like, you really need to see some ID, young man. Like, for a copy? She's like, yeah, I just don't feel comfortable getting caffeine. You just look so young. I'm like, fuck it, I'll take a hot chocolate. So I leave. When I go to the grocery store, right? I get up to the register of the grocery store. I get the same business. I'm not even trying to buy anything. No alcohol, no cigarettes, nothing. I'm just standing there. I got my stuff, my snacks. She's just staring at me like, is there a problem? Stares at me. She grabs her little microphone and she's like, <clears throat> Attention shoppers, we have a little boy who lost at register seven. <laughs> if the parents of the child look like he attempted to dress himself this morning, he used to love to register seven. Thank you very much. Having the baby faces and all that bad though, there were some perks. You know, I get in the movies for half off as long as they're not rated R. I can shit my pants in public. <laughs> And I recently got, I started getting gigs doing, you know, standing in for baby actors. Which is pretty good, it actually pays really well. The food sucks, but it pays really well. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> the other thing, though, relationships, though. Relationships are tough. It's like I'm trying to, you know, I try to go up with girls who are my age. But it's nearly impossible when I have high school girls come up to me and pinching my cheeks, you know, it's, they don't like that. So I gotta go for the cougars. More like they go for me, but. Yeah. Everybody knows the Cougars, right? Ow! Older woman, younger man. Yes, no. Yes. I guess yeah. This is a two-way street, folks. All right. So the thing with Cougars, though, is that sometimes you get them and they'll be like really age conscious, which they shouldn't be, right? It's like you're mature, you're smart, you're experienced, you're better than little girls. Yes, it's true. But you go out, you know, I mean, I'm talking to this girl. She's a Cougar. It's a little bit older. She asked me how old I am. I lie, and I said 27. She's like, oh, you're so young. I'm like, look, it's not a problem. Like, I don't care. You shouldn't care. Oh, I'm so old. I could be your mom. I'm like, well, it's not really into that. Can't you be like a nurse or my boss or a teacher? <laughs> mom is at the top of my fantasy list right now. So. But it goes both ways. Sometimes you get really good, good times with you, you know? I went to a bar the other night. I'm talking to a cougar. She wasn't really, I mean, she was a younger cougar. She was like 35, so she was more like a cougar cub. We were having a little conversation, and right off the bat, she tells me I'm cute. Now, usually when a girl tells me I'm cute, it's followed by, you remind me of my little brother. Aww. Or, you remind me of my ex-boyfriend, who I'm still totally into, but he's a huge asshole, and you seem like a really nice guy, so maybe we can hang out and not fuck. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> Bitch. But this time, she wanted to make out. So we're in the corner. She's biting and scratching me, as coots do. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she stops me. In the middle of hooking up, right? She's pushing me away. She's like, I have a boyfriend. I'm like, oh. Do you want to stop? She's like, no. Oh. Keep going. If any girls want to make out after the show, that's how, that's how it goes. Oh. But whenever a girl stops you in the middle of hooking up to tell you that she has a boyfriend, it's like she's trying to share her guilt with you or something. Guys don't give a shit. You're a slut, we get it. <laughs> At least you're not a slut. Cougar. Everyone knows about cougars, but has anybody ever heard of a mooger? No. A moog's like a coog, since it has balls and it's much creepier. It's an older gay guys hooking up with young guys. Man cougar. They're real. <laughs> and the thing about movers is that they don't care if you're straight or you're gay. You know, if you're straight, then they'll just, you know, they think that you, they can turn you gay. They have that charm, a little mover charm. <laughs> so, so at this party, right, and I end up talking to a mover. And it's going good. And all of a sudden, he's like, out of the blue. He's like, are you gay? 
Like, no, man, sorry, I'm not gay. Then <laughs> he pulls this classic boob move, right? He's like, are you sure you're not gay? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm CJ Bruce.